Well, uh, after the after the flood came, we were left with some stone foundations here. And we've been trying to figure out what they are. Of course, we had a good idea that this is the remains of, of Fort Hunter. That's, of course, the name of this, this place here. I think definitively we have a block house and, uh, and a curtain wall here exposed from uh, one of the, the renditions of Fort Hunter. We've got some artifacts up on the table. Yeah, this is a... Um, it's a colonial coin has been modified probably by a I would say a Mohawk Indian. There was a Mohawk Indian village here yeah. as well. You know, it's the base of a wine bottle. I found we actually found two of these right next to each other. This is in the bag, a couple of musket balls. So we, we you know we found quite a few musket balls. We find a lot of animal bone from uh, you know of course what people were eating out here. Uh, that has yet to be analyzed, all the bones, so it's hard to say. Uh, some deer bone and that kind of stuff, cow and pig bone. Uh, we'll have to do more archaeology here as they try and put the site back together. As you can see, it's really tore up. The roads have been tore up. So um, we always have to do archaeology in a place like this before we do any new construction.